Live to a press conference now from the Georgia Department of Transportation on the aftermath of the I-85 bridge collapse. Let's listen in. Interstate I-85, which carries over 250,000 cars a day. And of course, it has a broader perspective of interstate commerce as well. I also would like to thank the public for their patience tonight, this afternoon, and through the evening for the many vehicles that were trapped during this catastrophic event. And I ask for your continued patience in the days ahead as we assess and continue to uh, be able to rectify this tragic situation. Again, thanks to the first responders who's risked their lives and done an amazing job for extinguishing this fire and trying to get it under control and protecting human life while they do their jobs. For that, we all should be very thankful. This response, of course, has been a joint effort thus far and it will continue to be. Bringing together the assets from the City of Atlanta, so thank you to Mayor Reed and the City of Atlanta, the City of Fire Department, the Police Department, Georgia State Patrol, Georgia Emergency Management Agency, and many others who've responded to date and will continue to respond going forward. The Georgia Department of Transportation teams started in action as, almost as soon as this fire was made aware to us. We have bridge inspectors that immediately uh, came uh, to this location as soon as they could. They have been doing visual assessment to the extent possible they can now. They still are not able to enter, fully enter the area because of the heat and we're until we have the safety go ahead uh, from the fire department, but we are ready to make the assessments that will be needed to be made. We'll have to, sur we'll have to assess the surrounding area as well uh, to understand not just only where the fire was, but the uh, bridge, bridges to the north and the south of that as well. We will certainly work in full compliance with the fire department and the fire officials and investigators on the cause of this, of which we do not know at this time. Our primary concern right now is helping people reach their destinations tonight and tomorrow and the foreseeable future. GDOT is using every single available resource that we have to put together alternative routes. As you can see, we're working with all our intergovernmental agencies to share this information with the public. We will have to continue to evaluate this situation and adjust as we go. This incident, make no bones about it, will have a tremendous impact to travel. I would ask the people of the city of Atlanta and metropolitan Atlanta and all those traveling throughout the state on Interstate 85 to adjust their plans accordingly to do the best they can to consolidate trips, reduce trips, and don't leave your home or business unless you absolutely have to uh, to come to this part of the, this area. We are certainly thankful for the partnership with MARTA. MARTA will be expanding their service with their rail and also their bus frequency. Uh, this will also help in the crisis, just as it has many times before. So thank you to MARTA. Please consider MARTA as your travel option commuting in and out of the city. We'll be providing information and upgrading, uh, updating you as frequently as we have information so that travelers can have the most relevant and up-to-date information possible. We certainly would like to guide everybody to the Georgia Department of Transportation's website for information. That is www dot.ga.gov. Also direct you to Georgia 511 website or the app and also our Facebook page at Georgia DOT. At this point, I don't have the ability to tell you how long this incident will take to correct or to restore on inter travel on Interstate I-85 northbound or southbound. Repair to this essential interstate is our top priority as we will be doing everything in our power to make sure that this interstate can be open safely to traveling public just as fast as it can. Our teams will begin working quickly as possible and I'll assure you this is our top priority. Now I'd like to introduce Colonel Mark McDonough from the Department of Public Safety to provide you more information with detour and safe travel. Colonel McDonough. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, I'm Colonel Mark McDonough. I'm the Colonel of the Georgia State Patrol, the Commissioner of the Department of Public Safety. Uh, essentially, y'all, the cork has just been put in the bottle. Uh, think about one of the major arteries that comes in and out of this city, uh, where folks move north and south uh, through our state. Uh, a chunk of it has just been taken out of play. So with that said, 
Most of us are used to our routines. We're used to that one way we come to work, one way to do our business. So this is the time to start planning uh, and looking for an alternate route on how you do your business. With Friday being tomorrow, uh, we've got spring break traffic. Uh, we've got the first Braves game that's coming into town. Uh, so it couldn't have happened at a worse time, uh, but we're going to have to overcome that obstacle. And with that, prior planning on your part is going to go a long way. Look for that secondary route that will not take you through this section of 285, or excuse me, 85. So if you're north uh, of the city and uh, you normally come southbound uh, on 85 uh, in, into the city, uh, that's not going to be, uh, uh, you, you know, you're not going to have that uh, opportunity tomorrow. So the only traffic that essentially is going to be allowed uh, past 285 is local traffic uh, from 285 uh, down to uh, Georgia 400. Uh, if you get down to that point, uh, you're going to be turned north back on to 400 because uh, that's the dead spot. That's the point at which the southbound side and the northbound side are going to have to be inspected and the repair is going to be done. If you're coming northbound through the city on the connector, once you get to the 75 north and 85 north split, 85 will be closed at that point. So you can see uh, that's going to take a little bit of planning on your part. Uh, and uh, I suggest to give yourself more time and be patient because this is something that we're all going to have to uh, adjust to. Um, public transportation, as the commissioner said, is, uh, is a great option uh, and it's one that uh, should be considered because this does not affect uh, those public safety routes uh, for public transportation. So I think this is a good time to have Chris Tomlinson come up and talk to you about uh, bus routes and things that you can plan, uh, alternate ways to get to work. Chris? Thank you, Colonel. Again, for the State's Express Service, we will be operating in alternative routes for those routes that normally would travel down I-85. Those routes will be detoured onto I-285 and utilizing I-20 to come into the city for their normal stops in either downtown or midtown. So we're going to detour using the interstates. Again, as you heard from the commissioner and the colonel, we encourage people to telework, stay home, or use public transit, be that Express, be that MARTA, be that uh, Gwinnett, uh, community, Gwinnett County Transit. In addition, the I-85 hot lanes operating in the southbound direction starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. and scheduled till 10 a.m. will operate in what we call HOV3 only mode, meaning the lane will be open to those vehicles with three or more passengers or public transit. Uh, if traffic conditions are lighter than expected, we may return to uh, normal operating procedures. But for tomorrow, we anticipate traffic will be heavy, and so you will see HOV3 plus only on the signs. Again, we're asking for the cooperation of the public to help us at this time. Uh, we encourage those to stay off the road. If you must travel, we encourage you to carpool or use the public transit options. In addition, for the park and ride lots that are located at Sugarloaf and Hamilton Mill, we'll be running additional service to provide connectivity from those park and rides in the I-85 corridor to the Doraville MARTA station, where we encourage those who have to commute in to transfer from the express service to the MARTA train service. And with that, I will turn it over to Mr. Perkins from GEMA. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Clint Perkins. I'm the Director of Operations with Georgia Emergency Management Agency. I just wanted to take a moment to uh, tell each of you that uh, GEMA stands behind uh, DOT in full support. We'll be working diligently to coordinate with our state partners uh, to provide any assistance that GDOT or the State Patrol may need or any of our local uh, jurisdiction partners that uh, need our assistance. I encourage you to stay tuned in to the news for the latest updates, uh, Georgia 511 for traffic, and uh, safely motor uh, through town as we work through this period. Thank you. We thank you all for being here tonight. 
we ask the public again, continue patience, make good decisions the best you can on your travel patterns and make the necessary adjustments. And we commit to you that we will have this as open just as soon as possible, but please be patient until we can make a full assessment and we'll continue to provide as much detail as we can as soon as we have it available. Thank you, good night. Can you tell us specifically what's going to be happening? All right, that was a live, live news conference from Georgia emergency Guys, management we'll officials with uh, questions that uh, we all wanted to know about uh, the impact of the I-85 collapse and what it's going to have on not only commuters here in our own area, but for folks trying to travel the I-85 corridor uh, and spring, here comes spring break and, and so many people flowing from, from uh, the Atlantic coast down to uh, the Florida coast, if you will, using 85 as their route are now going to have to uh, completely change their plans. One of the big questions that everybody wants to know was not answered tonight, and that is how long is the reconstruction of I-85 going to take? Uh, the Georgia Department of Transportation could not answer that question. They say that they're going to let the first responders do their job to extinguish the fire. They're going to go in there, they're going to make their visual assessments, um, and then they're going to uh, reach their conclusion when they have a chance to get their engineers underneath that bridge. They have to basically rebuild that portion of I-85 uh, to, to open it once again. The other bit of breaking news that came out of this news conference is the impact that it's going to have on the routing of traffic. And, and one of the most alarming bits of information, if you will, is the fact that uh, if you're traveling northbound on the downtown connector, the shutoff point is going to be where 75 and 85 split. And can you imagine the traffic implications uh, that that's going to have, the, the backup that that's going to cause through downtown, up 75, 85, and right back uh, down that corridor of traffic as you get down to the airport. That is where officials are going to divert traffic, uh, probably up 75 or onto some secondary roads in that area. Coming from the north, if you use I-85, that section of the highway is only going to be open to local traffic. Uh, so if you're coming from 285, headed down toward the area of impact here, the blockage will be at Georgia 400. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to use the exits, the Claremont Roads, the uh, North Druid Hills Road exits. Uh, but you'll be blocked at Georgia 400, and, and you'll either have to use 400 northbound um, or some of the secondary roads if you need to navigate that area. They are urging folks as we, we move into the days and weeks ahead to use MARTA. As we saw during the uh, 1996 Olympic Games, MARTA is very good at uh, increasing service and responding to the needs of higher volumes of commuters who go into the city. Uh, we also, just a bit of housekeeping here, got some information that non-essential employees in DeKalb County are asked not to come to work tomorrow. Again, we're going to be putting this information out uh, through our social media channels, but again, non-essential employees in DeKalb County uh, are being asked not to, to come to work tomorrow based on what has happened with the I-85 uh, section of freeway here. We have a busy night of news ahead. We're on until midnight tonight.